and I was throwing this blade bait here. Lake Tyler looks peaceful, but there are monsters lurking in the water. Not mythical sea creatures like sailors claim to see, but real monsters of the deep, and Joe Agosta caught one. This is by far the biggest fresh and saltwater fish I've caught. Agosta was fishing on Lake Tyler East when he thought he caught a log. And all of a sudden, the log starts pulling back. But it wasn't a log, it was a fish, a really big fish. I was hoping it was a bass at first, but after the first minute or two, I knew it wasn't a bass. I knew I had a big catfish on. The catfish was so big, it took nearly a half hour to reel in. It almost broke his pole, but his 35 pound line held, and the monster catfish broke his net before he managed to drag it into the boat. And I finally got it in the boat, and so I was just amazed at how big it was, you know. I never thought in my life I'd catch a catfish over 50 pounds bass fishing. The catfish was four feet long, covered half his deck. He thinks it weighed more than 50 pounds because the fish broke his scale, too. I had originally put it on my scale. My scale went up to 50 pounds, but it was the clasp type. And when I put the clasp on it, it shook and broke the clasp. Well, thankfully, nearby crappy anglers had a bigger scale and were able to confirm the weight. This isn't the first big catfish caught here at Lake Tyler. You'll remember last year, Jacob Hardy, Luke Skiller, and the two troop teenagers who caught the 50-pound catfish. Well, it makes us wonder if Lake Tyler isn't becoming the big catfish capital of East Texas. Well, it certainly seems that way. Over the last couple of years, they have pulled some monsters out of this lake. Uh, I know of four 50-pounders just in the last year including Skiller and Hardy's catch that we featured on Hooked on East Texas last year. Basically, I was thinking, holy crap, something fitting to happen. Skiller and Hardy released their monster back into the lake. So have many others who have landed giant catfish here at Lake Tyler. I don't know of any of the big catches that they have taken with them. I think everybody wants to continue that trend. So they, they take their pictures, they weigh them in, and then they release them. But what about Agosta? Did he stock his freezer full of fillets? Nope, not this time. I figured it would be better to release it and let someone else enjoy the fight just like I did.